Hello, I thought I'd come here today and tell you a bit about the new program that's beginning this month. Now it's the 1st of September and it's called Being Powerfully Yourself. Being Powerfully Yourself. So it's a follow on from The Powerful Voice of the Quiet Ones, the book I published last year. And there was a similar but different program earlier in the spring called Be Powerfully Yourself. And this time I've played with the words a little because it seems to me, or I know it is for me, it's an ongoing practice. Excuse me. Um, sometimes it's easy for me to step up and feel I'm being powerfully myself. And sometimes the way I do that is by stepping back and going to a quiet place and retreating a little, perhaps making sure that I feel fully in my power before I choose to step out again. So for those of you who are new to this process, the way it all works is that there are six weeks in the program. We have a private Facebook group where I post weekly and daily prompts to guide you through. If you prefer not to interact on Facebook, then you can receive all the prompts by email and simply come to the weekly Zoom meetings, which are, as you probably know, on a different platform, so it's not connected with Facebook. And that works beautifully, I know, because I've been running these now for six years, nearly. Yeah, over six years, actually. It's May that my, the sixth anniversary was since I began doing this in 2015. And prior to that, I've been doing in-person workshops as well. I was up to 2020, I was running in-person workshops as well. So what is it all about? What's the flow? So we use something I call the compass rose, which I'll share with you at the end, probably. It's a short meditation poem that I open and close each circle with. And each conversation from working one-to-one -one with you as well in coaching. And this program is a little different. There's an option to purchase an additional one hour one-to-one -one with me, either before, during, or after the program, which you may find useful in tuning in with yourself, by yourself, for yourself, simply with me as your companion. Group work is full of magic because the interaction, the things that take place in the gaps in between our conversations and in between the parts that I plan are often where the, the nuggets of gold are for you. Sometimes it's a card that's drawn for somebody else. Sometimes it's the experience somebody describes in their magic carpet ride. Sometimes it's simply a thought that occurs to you whilst listening to others. And those things are unique and particular to each and every group and each call that we share online. So the process, the compass rose, if you haven't seen it before, this is the compass rose. It began its life being called a power flower because it's a flower which goes to dare to blossom and it has that word power and it grew out of discussions actually about power specifically. So many people don't feel they want to step into their power because we often reject that very thought of that word and that concept, uh, probably because the power that we're used to seeing is something we don't want to be associated with, the power that shows dominance and control and fear. Whereas the power that I want to step into is a more feminine version of collaboration, community, and together we help each other along the way. And that's not specific to women. Men want this as well. Most of us want a, a better balance between the masculine and feminine aspects of ourselves and of our world as well. And I believe that's healthy and right and productive for, for everybody, for all of society, if we have a move towards that balance. And this became the compass rose because of course the compass rose is also a sort of flower with all those directions that you might see on an old map. And they showed the compass as that, that beautiful rose symbol. This is a simple one with just four directions and the poem starts in the centre. And that's what we do on the six week programme. Week one is peace. And we share a week focusing on that, reflecting on it, along with the prompts. Week two is north for purpose. 
Week three is East for passion. Week four is South for power. Week five is West for progress. And then week six is Return to Peace, back to our center point. And we're truly never disconnected from that center point. All those parts are parts of a whole, they're always interconnected. And we can step into all or any of them at any time. Simply that in the circle, in the flow of the program, it's useful to follow a flow around the compass rows and look at them one time, one petal, one point at a time. So that's the outline of the, the program. And there's more on the website that tells you more about that. And in each Zoom call and within the group during the week's flows, I draw some of the Dare to Blossom cards for each person present. Ooh, I'm just jumping around. Um, you may have seen these before if you know me already. They just contain a word, a card. That's interesting. That was today's word in the Dare to Blossom into Joy group on Facebook, which is a, an open free group if you'd like to join us. I just shuffle those, so I'm not sure why that came out, <laughs> but there's obviously a reason. So the point, the point or the purpose of these cards is that it's your first response that matters to you in this moment, to the word or a colour, and maybe to the question, what else is there? And your response will be different the next time you see it, whether that's in five minutes, a week, a year, whatever that is. And there are no rights or wrongs, it's simply what it is, it's a word and a colour. And there may be profound messages and insights for you from reflecting on that. So I draw three cards each for each of us in the circle. And I send you photographs or post them in the group from a really regular group afterwards so you can spend more time with them if you'd like to. When we're in the circle, each of the cards drawn for each of us is for all of us as well. And at the end, I draw another card, I spread them out raise them in a circle to take a photograph of all our cards together and I draw one that sits in the centre of that circle. Circles within circles if you like. So that's part of the flow and during the live calls we also take part in a guided visualisation of a magic carpet ride which again you may have heard of, you may have experienced in other people's meditations or in my own, my own groups. It's a simple and child-like exercise which takes us back to that wonder and joy and openness of childhood and it's also powerful and profound and people come back with really practical messages sometimes for their business or their life or their career sometimes it's very moving because they've met people who've passed over and connected with them sometimes nothing much seems to happen at all sometimes people go into deep sleep or deep rest, even if not asleep, and can't remember anything at all when they come back. Sometimes people go on a totally different journey than the one described in the words that I use, and they're just a structure if we'd like something to follow. They're not instructions, just a structure a container. Mm. So we share as little or as much as you'd like to about any of these parts of the live call. The same goes for the Facebook group. Some people share a lot there and interact a lot. Some people prefer to be quiet and private and simply sharing their own journals privately. That's all perfect. As again as I said, there's no rights or wrongs. It's not a course. It's not any sort of program with assignments or deadlines or challenges even that you have to do. And what I've found is that the flow of the program works perfectly for each of us. However much or little we're able to have time to engage with it all or get involved or write comments or even think about it, the flow is all happening there underneath the surface as you go about your daily life, whatever that is. So I hope that makes some sense to you if this is new to you. Um, the reason partly for coming on now is that if it is all new to you and if it isn't, you're very welcome as well. I have several events coming up before the start date of this programme, which is the 13th of September. So less than two weeks time now. And I have two taster circles, which are on Tuesday the 7th at 11 a.m. and Thursday the 9th at 2.30 p.m. UK times. And if you either find the events on Facebook or just contact me directly, I can send you the Zoom link for those. Um, there are also two regular monthly circles I hold, which people who just want to dip in 
if they don't have time or don't wish to start, sign up for a six week program. Or again, it can be used as a taster because they're all, they're all follow the same flow and each is unique as they always are from our own experiences and the people that gather together. So for this month, the first of those is tomorrow, that's Thursday the 2nd of September at 9 a.m. UK. And then the next is Saturday the 11th at 11 a.m. So UK. So plenty of chances to find out more if you'd like to before the beginning of the programme. The price of the programme, the fee for the full six weeks is £158. And if you'd like to add on the one-to-one -one coaching, as I mentioned earlier, that's a half price session, especially for you if you're on the programme. So that's £45 for one hour rather than £90. And that's specifically tailored for you. So we may use some of the same tools and processes I've just described, or we may work in quite a different way. It's entirely up to you. Or well, for me to help guide you as to what feels right for you to explore in that moment, in that hour together. So I won't talk anymore, but I will simply share with you before I go the piece, the meditation poem, The Compass Rose. It's called Compass Rose Speaks. And the voice you hear speaking to you is the voice of your inner compass rose, your inner guidance system, which we all have. It's often drowned out by the noise of everyday life. But when we choose to tune in and listen, we can hear that voice clearly to help guide us. So if you're in a place where you can close your eyes, you might like to do that or soften your gaze or maybe come back later if you aren't in such a place and can take this in fully and really connect with it. And let your breathing slow and settle. As you do that, it will naturally deepen as well, become a deeper breath, more intake of oxygen and more time to let everything else flow out when you breathe out. And so hear the voice of your Compass Rose. Compass Rose speaks. I am your Compass Rose. My center point is peace, grounding, balancing. Look up, look north to your guiding star, your purpose. From the east comes the rising sun, passion, potential. South is a source of nature's powers, the flowing rivers, the rising tides, the ever-changing ocean, the wind that shapes the land, the power that is arising in you. West is the land of the setting sun, progressing forward into the night, anticipating the promise of a new day. Return your attention to your centre point, to peace, grounded, balanced. I am your compass rose. And so with that, I'll leave you in that place of peace. Say goodbye for now and do contact me if you'd like to find out more on the book on one of the events I mentioned or into the program itself. Thank you.